Welcome back to another Merch Legion War Recap video, and unfortunately I can't show you a victory this time. We ended up having a tough little war against Firefly, uh, but we did have some really good attacks I wanted to show you. Um, it was a close war. We had some pretty close attacks in there, but just didn't quite add up like we had hoped. Hopefully we can turn that around this next war. Alright, so check this out. We're coming in here, and we're going to start down here with some Town Hall 8s. We've got Jaws coming in, fresh into Merc's Legion, and already getting six fresh stars for the Merc's Legion. So that was awesome. I want to show you a pretty good dragon attack here, folks. We do have the um, triple lightning bolts here, which is um, one tactic you can use. You can also use a... Um, BBQ, which is using two bolts and one lightning. However, I did kind of like the quake spell in this one as a bit of a uh, way to weaken up that last air defense for your hogs to get in there. We don't see hogs too often in a, a dragon attack uh, if it's just like straight dragons, but this air defense was close enough to the edge that Jaws felt he could come in here, have plenty of time to get through the dragon, and uh, take out the air defense. He was absolutely right. And that proved just enough to be able to let all these dragons um, power through just that one remaining air defense. And it ended up being a perfect um, attack on this one. Great job keeping the troops fairly focused um, in the core of the base, although they did get a little grouped up because of the Barb King. But um, overall, we ended up getting a good three stars. But I want to show you that because sometimes you can use your hogs or balloons to surgically uh attack one air defense that's kind of close to the edge and just let your clan castle troops die they don't have to last the entire raid that is one tactic and it does work once in a while so good job jaws knowing your tricks all right let's move on up We've got another town hall a one to show you here by aleron doing a govoe that's right folks it's using golems valkyries and wizards at Town Hall 8. This is really powerful dude, especially if you're bringing a couple of Max Valks in your clan castle. We did have a little bit of a fail there on the hog. You didn't quite get in far enough to get the clan castler. So what do you do? All you have that targets there are your wizards. So you have to be extremely careful when going after this enemy dragon in the clan castle not to dump too many wizards in one spot and you've got to protect them. They become what saves this attack in here. So the golems are going to make their way in first which is absolutely essential. Uh, wizards along the back side because they've got to get in and clear out all those trash buildings before they can even get in here and take out the enemy dragon. The redheads are deployed along with the clan castle ones as well. They're going to get in here and kind of prove it to be a bit of a distraction for the dragon and the wizards finally lock on and take out the dragon. Good use of a heal spell healing up some of the valkyries that the dragon was hitting although um, a couple of the valkyries that were maxed went off and went their own direction but there are still plenty of the lovely redheads here in the core still pound their way through the defenses. Now the only thing I might have suggested in this one is bringing a couple of balloons. If you pause it right here we can go through and highlight some of these defenses that we could have picked off um, by using a couple balloons simply because everything was targeting what was here in the core. So these archer towers weren't an issue and if we brought in four balloons it could have taken these outside defenses down and the raid would have been done a lot sooner. But that's okay. It still worked. We had plenty of power on the board. The Barb King making his way around the outside proved to be a little bit of a distraction. And this wizard here over on the bottom, Champion Harry Potter. Nice job, dude. All right, so it gets in here. A uh, couple of Valks. We got the Golems still up in the middle, or Golemites at this point. So um, it, it works, folks. Go Vape does work. You got to be careful on the base, though. If you get into the wrong base with too many compartments, it can fizzle too quickly. But in this kind of a base where you had a very large open compartment, it does work rather nicely. So very good job to Aleron on getting a good Go Vape going on in our war. I like to see these new attacks, folks. I'm not going to lie. They um, they make the war matchup a little bit more interesting, and it pushes your abilities. If you're not good at something, keep trying at it. If you're like, well, I'm not very good with hogs, and you give up on hogs, then you'll never get better at hogs. I myself am not a great hog attacker yet. However, I've been practicing, and hopefully in the near future, I will have some great hog attacks to show you. Speaking of hog attacks, let's go up to one of my inspirations here to... Oh, not that one. But Bloom, always a great guy. Always a good inspiration. But I wanted to get up here and show you Bowen War. Which one was he? Here it is. 
Bowen War the Great coming in doing a go ho. Now what's really great about this go ho is it's not just straight hogs and golems and he's going to come in with the bill of a queen walk as well. But one of the things that makes his base a little tricky is knowing where your um double giant bomb spots are going to be. So let's look here. We have possible for there, a possible here, a possible here or here. We have a possible here. So we've got lots of double gi giant bomb spots on this one. And I love the way that Bowen War comes in to defuse a couple of these double giant bomb spots. So let's go ahead and get the replay started here. Go to send in the shattered golems here. All right, already we've lost one double giant bomb spot. We know that this one is no longer a double giant bomb. If this one here, sorry for the lag, if this one here is a double giant bomb spot, it's okay because it's going to get triggered. These golems or this golem here are going to march their way in underneath the balloons and take out that spot if it's a double giant bomb. So good job there. We got the rage going down just to help the troops get in there and take out the um, balloons as they made their way in. The wizards are sprinkled in behind just to add that extra little DPS at the end. There's one giant bomb, the golem trigger. There's a second giant bomb. We are now down to one double giant bomb spot. All right, I'm going to pause this for a second. Now check this out. Spots that we have left for double giant bombs. One here and here and here. What's going on right now is this queen over on the right side of the base is taking out all of this area is what she's going to be doing even before the hogs come in so that means these two double giant bomb spots are going to be negated so when the hogs come in later they're not going to have to even deal with that spot the only one they have to contend with is over here but here's the other great thing look at this right over here this entire area has been cleared out by the kill squad already so the hogs don't even need to path this way what they're going to do is they're going to come over they will take out this and they'll be like oh here's the next defense and they don't even have to worry about the double giant bombs. So at this point, even with 35% damage of the entire base, all the double giant bomb spots have been negated. And we can move on to get a pretty easy three star at this point because we've got the two heals and the one jump spell if needed. So the queen's going to make her way around the outside, still picking off a few of the point defenses. The um, wall breakers come in just to help her get in there and get into the core. She's also going to tank a little bit. And here are coming the hogs over on the right side. Any day now. Come on, little piggies. There they are. Good. And I also love the surgical deployment. Even though we know where the double giant bomb spots uh, could have been in this attack, it's still a good idea to get as much damage on the field as possible at one time and spread them out so that multiple defenses go down at once. Perfect place for that last heal spell. Knowing we've got that possible double giant bomb spot up there just north of the mortar, he's going to drop the last heal spell over there just to make sure that if they happen to grace it, they still won't die. So, very well planned out war. Um, thought that was a really great attack. I love to see it. Um, and just keep up the great work, Bowen War. These are awesome attacks. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had a really good dragon uh, uh, attack in there. We also had a Go Vape by Alaron in there, which also had to deal with the clan castle on the fly. And then we have Bowen War doing a Go Ho with a Queen Walk that did an awesome job of getting by and working around our double giant bomb spots. So, uh, if you like the video, please make sure you punch the like button, hit the subscribe button on the bottom right of this video, and also uh, don't forget to pass it on to all your friends in your clan. That's the way your clan is going to get better, by showing them videos on what works, and that way you can start leading your clan to victory. This is Eureka Havoc from Merck's Legion, reminding you guys to always clash without fear.